if you've ever you played one of the games from the Atari that was designed to work with a paddle, uh, you'll find out that using the joystick, which is your normal input device on the PC, is extremely unstable and frustrating. Uh, so we want to get away from this and change that to a paddle. To do that, we're going to talk about two settings, both for the game and for overall, that will allow you to use uh, a mouse as your paddle. But first, let's take a quick look what happens when you try to use a controller. Because the joystick snaps to the center, it's very hard to control your uh, paddle in these games. They snap back, they move erratically, because they're not a linear device, whereas your mouse can be configured to be that way. Uh, so it ends up you miss a lot. Uh, you end up uh, trying to get somewhere, and you move a little bit, and uh, I'm having better luck here than normally. Uh, but you miss. So let's take a look. So we select the game and then go into uh, the options. Uh, and we're going to select the game properties. And we come here and you'll see that uh, there's a controller section. And it says here joystick. Again, we're going to put it to paddle. Uh, and that makes sure that this particular game is using paddles. You can mostly ignore this, but if it's too sensitive, you can play around with that as well. Uh, and then once we're done, uh, we're going to say analog devices are fine. Uh, we just leave it there and we're ready to go. So now we'll launch Circus Atari and see uh, what it's gotten us. So if I go ahead here and close this and double click here, and there I am, you see I'm moving my mouse. I left the cursor visible so you can see that as I move my cursor, uh, the character or the control on the screen moves accordingly. And I'm much more efficient at, well, mainly more efficient at uh, moving it correctly so I can actually play the game sometimes. And just so you can see that I, it is better, let me, see if I, <laughs> let me see if I can do a slightly better job here to demonstrate how to, no, I guess I can't. It's been dozens of, hell, 50 years since I played this regularly. Uh, but eventually you'll get the hang of it and you can even switch sides here and get eh, fairly good. Now, if you look, I left that mouse cursor visible because uh, just to show it moving with the uh, characters. But we're going to show you how to turn that off, but still maintain control of your game. Because it being uh, positioned somewhere on the screen over where you're working at, where you're playing at, uh, it can really mess you up. So we go over here and we go back in. We go over here to the mouse. If you notice here, the mouse cursor visibility is down here below here. There are several selections. You want to do the one where it's visible in the UI, this interface here, but not in the emulation. Be a little careful, though, because if you accidentally uh, choose uh, not in the uh, UI, uh, you won't have your mouse available. Uh, here I have to try and hover and try and find the uh, boxes to click on. Uh, you'll still be OK here in the emulation, but your UI will be uh, a little difficult to uh, maintain. So we go here. Uh, and we use the same uh, drop down. Uh, I see if I can get to it because I can't see my mouse. Uh, we go over here to the mouse in the top, and once we highlight that, we can go back in and uh, change the, uh, <laughs> the UI. And uh, there it is. We get to the drop down and change this to be where I can see the mouse during uh, using this interface, but not during the game. So go back in. Uh, now you see I have my mouse again. And in the game, it's not there. No more distractions. Now I can play Breakout, Super Breakout, uh, Circus, a lot of the different games. Of course, it doesn't say I'm good, uh, but I can use those, uh, the mouse, to do that. So let's take a look at what it looks like. So here I am playing with my uh, mouse. And as I move around, you'll see I can move it and it responds nicely. Now, there are more adjustments you can play around with. Uh, I just use the standard to make it more or less sensitive to your mouse movements. So you have a finer control over it. But it's much, much easier to play, especially breakout and super breakout uh, with a mouse than with a joystick. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want more, you can just click on subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.